Swiss parliamentary candidates busy shooting their own online campaign ads. 26-year-old Nadine Masshart from Bern keeps it simple. She and a colleague from the Social Democratic Party, along with some friends, are making their own video. Videos are an important element in a campaign. For not much cost, you can reach a large audience. And I've got a limited budget. Every month, Masshart makes a new video. This one is a spoof of a barbecue spot by the supermarket chain Migro. Change of scene and of candidate. Rudy Noza has clearly invested more funds in his campaign ad. For a 30-second spot, he's engaged four people. Only pros work on the set. The right-wing candidate doesn't want to say how much he spent on his campaign ad, but he thinks it's a good investment. I've seen so many unprofessional, irritating videos that I've decided to work with a director instead and see what he comes up with. A campaign expert has analysed a few videos by Swiss candidates and, in his opinion, there aren't many worth watching. One in ten is good and hits the mark. The other nine are either embarrassing or damage the candidate's image. The nationalistic right is also exploiting videos to communicate with potential voters among the youth. We tested campaign videos for the first time in 2007, and we've realized from the feedback we get that many of our young voters pay attention to them. Centre party candidates are also playing the video game especially when they are professionals active in the communication business, like Marianne Binder. It's a way to make yourself better known. And with the new social media, Twitter, Facebook and so on, a short video gives you the chance to present yourself in a new way. The spot claims that even dogs would vote for this candidate, but it's doubtful that this, or other videos, will make a real difference to the October election result. At present, only a few hundred people are watching, say the experts.